Hi friends, welcome to Sural Trader. Today I'm going to review all the charts uh, from last week. So last week we looked at uh, S&P 500 and I told you that the structure is bad and possibly we can have a down leg. On Monday there was a squeeze. Uh, we actually closed above the previous day's high but then we couldn't su succeed. Bulls were not able to pull through and the path of least resistance was down and then you see or saw this sharp rejection and then uh, a follow through also came in next day now we are reaching this key support which has acted as a very strong support in the past and i think uh, the, on this day you know while we book profits in our uh, put spreads on on uh, put spreads uh, i also initiated a long position here i mentioned that on my pre channel as well that this might be a good level to add so I am currently long because this area is going to support and from this area to this area, you know, which is around 5450 to 5350 levels, which is a 2%, 2 and a half, I think there will be very strong support and we may, high poss possibility is that there might be another leg up, challenging the previous high. So uh, maintain, I covered my short positions and I am in long now. Uh, we took a short positions on NASDAQ, NASDAQ ETF which is QQQ. And uh, if you saw the last uh, week's video, you know, I said that we might touch this level which was 19,000 and we already touched 19,000, we are below it. NASDAQ slightly more volatile. So uh, if you want to add long positions, it's also at the key pivot here. Uh, with a margin at least I think in next two months we might be in this range and there can be a sharp reversal the range will be uh, 19,000 to 18,250 that's where the long support uh, strong support will be there so if we move further down somewhere middle you can add a long position or you can add a long position with hedges don't trade futures without hedges it will be very risky so with hedges uh, it will be safe by at least 30 days time when you're hedging so this is Nasdaq. I think uh, the down major down leg is over until we have a really bad news coming in, uh, which I think uh, might take us down to eighteen thousand two fifty. That's where you know we'll most new support will be there. We I don't see much downside here uh, more. So long position can be added. Uh, looking at some of our uh, swing trades, so we took out our position in ABAB, uh, which is the Brazilian stock we talked about. We may re-enter this when the right time comes, but at this point of time, we exited our trade because we were already long a couple of other stocks in Brazil as well. So that was becoming too much uh, in one country. So we just exited uh, the AVA position. We are holding the BBD uh, position. And BBD, as I told you, uh, you know, it's still in the consolidation. Uh, it is coming down. A touch of trend line may happen to two. It's already at our break-even price. Now, uh, from this level, uh, which is 215 to uh, the level below, which is $2, um, it's possible that markets may chop around for more time and then we get a leg up here. But uh, currently holding, my stop for this is going to be deep. Uh, we are holding it. We will look at uh, anywhere between two, 215 to $2, we will be uh, looking at buying opportunities again if it comes. Now, we had another position in AMDL. AMDL ETF was a position that we created uh, looking at, we got a signal here, but then there was a sharp rejection with NASDAQ and, and it is down. We are currently in a, in a loss here in this position. And if this position doesn't turn around, or uh, we will uh, probably exit the position. We don't have an exit signal right now, but if we don't get a follow through, follow through uh, next week, we might have to exit this position. Then another open position we have is uh, is the is a Spanish index, EWP. So EWP again, you know, uh, has been trading above the key levels, trying to move away, uh, trying to move away from 33 area. This is an area where major breakdown happened uh, around a month back. We don't know why, but this was an area where a lot of people got stuck. And that's where the lot of selling is happening. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven days. Almost two weeks this stock has struggled here. 
our view is that we might get a follow through towards 3350 that's where we will exit if not uh, we will see how it happens but this is a strong uh, this is currently bullish then we have uh, another position which is already open is the EVZ index. This is Brazilian index. We already booked profits in, in our options trade and we have our cash trade open. Uh, it's trading uh, this. It again made a move, main reversion move towards the strong support zone which is 2720 to 26.50. And in this zone, again, there is some buying happening within this zone. As long as this is trading, we will uh, we will look for opportunities to add as per our UTF system. But currently, uh, we are positioned bullish in this, and possibly we will create an options trade here with 29 to 30 calls. Uh, for when this this starts moving, guys, the move is very sharp. You know, last time we added some stocks here at 27 and we got a move till 29.50 almost 29.50 now this move may look small but it's a 9% move on an ETF which is index ETF safe investment not say I mean safe in the sense that you know it's a mean rewarding setup so it's a more sharp move we are expecting similar kind of move again possibly higher so let's see how it comes through uh, we are currently brand bullish on this another trade which is open for us is XLB now, XLB is the uh, index for uh, spider uh, spider select uh, uh, materials ETF. We entered somewhere here and uh, it has been chopping around for a while and this candle gives us an impression that we might be heading higher. So let's see what it comes out and how it shapes up. Now two more uh, trades I want to talk about is BMY. So BMY was a trade that we have been in the trade for almost last eight nine months and uh, it was uh, in a downtrend and it has given a major breakout so we added some stocks here our average price is around 47 and now we are trading above 40 47 50 so we are already five percent up and seems like there might be a big move uh, there would be more steam left in it so we will possibly get our first targets as well the move is really ballistic this time uh, it has given very good results and also uh, seems like uh, because now the chances of interest rate cuts are very high there is a migration to uh, dividend yields and this one currently have a dividend yield of around five percent so a lot of buying might more buying may come in let's see how it goes um, Another trade that uh, several traders took uh, was on JNJ, and on JNJ uh, we first played this breakout. We took our long position somewhere here, and uh, we waited for it. We got a breakout. We exited all our options at around 90 to 100 percent gains, and then uh, I was watching this fundamentally as well. Uh, this is uh, the, I, you know, and then there was a retracement and selling which came in. You know after the all breakouts another a touch of the breakout level i was expecting it to somewhere come to this line which is 150 but you know it reversed from the breakout level 151 so when i saw that this was moving up on intraday charts i actually we actually suggested to buy 165 calls for october the hope was that this will chop around in this area for a month or something and you know but it just went ballistic again and we exited the call as around 90% gains, but it could have been much higher. So anyways, we are still holding the shares. So this was a very good trade for us last week. Uh, and then uh, if you see uh, Tesla uh, also, uh, Tesla shares had a bad results. They came down and now it's going to adjust this, bra uh, this, this, uh, uh, this gap. It's a big one. 245 to 225 20 dollar gap and uh, the momentum at tech, as per technicals this is in a big momentum you know if you look at this curve it's very strong possibly it will try a gap fill and after the gap fill is done we may it may start trying to find another direction up or down we don't know but this is possibly my view on uh, this one 
Now let's look at the chart of Vito. Vito is the S and P. Uh, Vito, Vito is the uh, Bitcoin uh, ETF. So last week I told you that we got a signal here and we entered somewhere in this area and we got this move. But then when the week started, uh, this was the first day Monday and then next three days it came down, which was it most looked like a shakeout to me, which was a shakeout. Then we got a gap up here and we got around four and a half percent. We exited half. Now this is position very bullish. You know, uh, there is some conference happening. There's a lot of interest in, in, in Bitcoin futures. So this can possibly make a higher move. You know, if you look at the slightly longer time frames, uh, you know, we have a very strong signal, which generally is respected. So we will hold this and uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, another result that is coming in is from Amazon. Now, Amazon is having a shakeout before the election last week i told you we are at a key support and annual volume volume shelf so this volume shelf was broken and we came down and touched exactly the previous support at 175 176 levels and now seems like selling has stopped if somebody has to position for results my personal opinion is to go long and possible targets on the results on the bullish side can be 195 to 200 and on the bearish side you know you should keep some support or some kind of uh, risk management at 170 to 176 levels but uh, let's see i mean we are out of it now uh, we are not in this trade um, another uh, etf which is on my radar is ms uh, is is cloud which is the etf for the uh, the clouds uh, technology companies so this one is in a in a complete job we have done nothing in this for last one and a half one month almost it's completely sideways it tried doing up came down but uh, we are long on this as well and uh, this is basically our view uh, so uh, if you have any questions let me know you can join our free channel uh, we share a lot of setups and uh, also intraday levels for key sectors if you want you can join that and let me know if you have any other questions thanks